I mentioned earlier that you can access quite a number of things from the control panel. And one very important thing that you can always access from your control panel is administrative tools. I'm going to double click on that. And just like the name implies, administrative tools are things that normally you would go into to set very specific administrative type functions for your computer. If you want to see the performance of your computer, it's under administrative tools. If you want to be able to see what services are running on your computer, it's all under administrative tools. So it's a great access for you to be able to find exactly what you're looking for to manage and configure the system. And as an A-plus certified professional, you're going to be going into your control panel into that administrative tools function quite a bit. There's a very important aspect to this called computer management. It's an icon that's in here. What's interesting about this computer management is that it's taken a number of these functions and it's consolidated it down into one single view. So this computer management view that we're looking at right here, notice that it has the event viewer. It has performance logs. Some of the things we were just looking at is individual icons. It has encapsulated all of these into the central management console. This is something called the Microsoft Management Console, or the MMC. And it has the same function, the same structure, no matter what type of components you might have in here. Under Help, for instance, there is About Microsoft Management Console, and it tells you all about that. What it really does is give you a central place to manage now. If I want to look at the Event Viewer, I click Event Viewer. If I want to look at Local Users and Groups, I can click Local Users and Groups and drill down from there. I don't have to keep going back to the Control Panel, go to Administrative Tools, run the Event Viewer. Go to the Control Panel, go to Administrative Controls, go view the different users. I can just go to this one view with Computer Management and take advantage of the Microsoft Management Console to have all of those things in one place for me. Well, that helps us understand how to manage things at a high level. But what if we want just to know what's happening right now with the applications that are running on our computer? There's something called a task manager. And if I right mouse click in my task bar down at the bottom, there's an option for task manager. If I click on that, it's going to bring up this Windows task manager that in this particular view by default is showing me all of the processes running on my computer. But I've also got a way to look at what applications are in use. The performance of my computer right now, what's the CPU usage like, how much memory am I using in my computer, and if I'm using the network, is there any network access or what is the performance of the network as I'm using it? And I'm not using anything on my network right now. So this is a central place to go to find out what's happening right now on my computer. If my computer was to slow down, I might want to go into my processes and find out what application on my computer is using the most amount of CPU right now. Fortunately, right now, it's things like Task Manager, because that's what happened to be running right now. You'll often see at the bottom the system idle process. Depending on where you've sorted this, it'll show up somewhere in your Task Manager. You'll notice that the CPU quote unquote utilization for system idle is usually a pretty large number. That's not the system idle process using your CPU. That's how idle your CPU is. So don't be thrown by that. If you want to sort by CPU, we could just sort by CPU. Let's uh, sort in a descending mode and look at the very top. And you can start to see the different applications that are going in and out and how much CPU use they happen to be using. If you need to end a particular program, let's say that uh, that Office program that we were running is causing a problem. You can always select it and click End Process. And it administratively removes it, ends that program without you going through the normal file close or file, the normal process for closing out that application. If an application hangs, that's a great way to get rid of it. Take it out of the CPU, get it out of memory, and you can try launching it and start fresh again. We've used the Start menu already, but you're going to be going back to the Start menu over and over and over again in Windows. And that's because everything starts there, just like the name implies. You have on this left part of the Start menu a way that you can start applications very quickly. And on the right side is quick access to documents, to pictures, to the control panel, to your printers. So these are things that you can run and find very quickly all the time. You can also run programs from here. This is an option that brings up a dialog box that allows you to type in the program you're looking to run. If you wanted to manually start the Microsoft Management Console, you could type MMC. If you wanted to start Notepad, you could simply type Notepad and hit Enter, and it will start the Notepad program. So if you don't want to go through the process of finding the icon, you just know what the program name is. You can type it right in there, and it will start that program for you right from the Start menu.
If you've not used the Windows user interface before, some of those components may have been a little bit new. So let's see what we can remember about those. Our first question, what is the small group of icons that's down on the taskbar called? There's a tiny little group there on the far right side we looked at. What is that group called? That is the system tray, and you'll also hear it referred to as the sys tray. What part of the Windows user interface can show you the programs that are currently active? That was that real-time view showing us exactly what's in memory right now. What's the performance of those programs? That's the task manager that gives you that information. And lastly, what part of the Windows user interface contains a group of configuration utilities? There's quite a bit in there. And if you remember, that was all found in the control panel. Well, that covers our user interface overview for Windows. We're going to get much deeper into the user interface and running different programs from there in the next few videos. But now we know everything we need to know about the basics of using our Windows UI. And we even drill down to, into some specifics in the Control Panel, Administrative Tools, Microsoft Management Console. If you've never used those before, you now have an entire new group of things available to you to use inside of your Windows operating system. If you'd like to see any more of our a videos, we have a message boards, we have a wiki, you can send me a message and much more. You can visit our website. We can be found at freeaplus.com.